Today is definitely one of those 4WD days. We got close to what seems like a foot of snow overnight, and we're supposed to get close to what seems like a foot, what will seem like a foot, during the day today yet, in the morning especially. There's gonna be a lot of snow. Looks like town has cleared the main streets here already, but there was tons on our street. If you don't have four wheel drive, you're not getting out of your driveway today. It's that kind of day. We're on our way to the semi. See what kind of mischief we can get up to today. Oh, 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 you want me to stop? I'll stop. All right, I'll stop, there you go. 4WD doesn't help you stop any faster, but it sure helps you get going. I'm supposed to be going down to Minnesota today. Uh, I'm taking a sleeper truck, one of our Western Stars, so I'll be able to show that to you. Uh, it's the same, pretty much a sister truck to the Western Star that I used to be in years ago. Years ago, uh, Britt and I went on a trip together up to Yukon Territory uh, for New Year's. That was about five years ago already. Same type of truck. Uh, it's Unit 3079. I'm going to be hooking up to that. I'm just going down into Minnesota, not too far. It would usually be just a day trip. I wouldn't need a sleeper. But given the circumstances with the weather, I'm going to take a sleeper truck just in case we get hung up. Then uh, i got a bed to sleep in. Western Star. Mm. That was a little uh, under underwhelming of a horn. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Western Star. It's a little bit of a sketchy day out here today, but we're trucking along. We're doing just fine. We're stopping at the Flying J here in St. Adolphe, Manitoba. I'm gonna fill up our tanks of fuel. We have a unique trailer behind us. It looks like a horse trailer. Everyone seems to think it's a horse trailer that I talked to. It's not a horse trailer. It looks like one. This Western Star also brings back a lot of memories. Older memories. This was the truck, well, a truck just like this. I was driving 3080 back then. This is 3079. <clears throat> 3079, sorry. I was driving this truck uh, when I met Britt and she came on the road with me in a truck just like this in 3080. We took it up to Yukon and we, we squished in here with the dogs. Chevy wasn't born then yet, so we didn't have him, but there's not much room inside these Western Stars that we got. You can get bigger models, bigger sleepers, but uh, these ones aren't the biggest. <laughs> the Peter Peterbilts and Volvos and Kenworths we have have a lot more space inside, but it's still a nice truck. I mean, I really like it. 100 meters, make a U-turn if possible. Karen, be quiet. Karen fell off my window already. She's already, she wants to go home. No, no Karen, we're Canadian. We don't go home just because there's a little snow. We put fuel in and go. I gotta go down into Minnesota, uh, all the way down to Grand Forks, down I-29. And then, what is it? East. Road for 11 kilometers. East down Highway 2. To a town called Faustin, Minnesota. And it's going to take a while. Because we're taking our sweet time. I am in no rush. Got this weird looking trailer behind me. <laughs> it's half motorhome, half workshop. Maybe I'll show you in a minute. One second, let me get around to the pumps first, get some fuel in here. And we need to get down the road because I want to get out of this storm. The storm is supposed to be, uh, supposed to be lightening up in Minnesota. But we'll see, we'll see. If it gets too bad, we have a sleeper behind us here. We'll just pull over somewhere safe and call it a day, go to bed. Oh boy, three of their pumps are out of order here. Three of them. Wow. Well, this one's still working. Oh wait, no. Oh no, they're all still open. That's. Oh man, I thought those cones were in front of the in front of the pumps. They're not. Never mind, don't listen to me. Alright. 
get some good old Canadian winter diesel here. I want to fuel up here instead of down in the States. Our fuel is a little bit better conditioned for the winter. All right, I think that's, I think that's good. All right, I'll get these things fueled up and uh, show you what we're dealing with today a little bit. It's getting worse out here, but I hear from the drivers coming north from the US that it gets better and better as you get closer to Grand Forks. So the further you go south, just like the weather channel told me. So apparently they're right. So I don't have a lot of time here. I got to get moving. I want to get out of this storm and avoid this storm. I'm going to quickly show you what we're pulling. It's pretty windy outside, so my audio might be a little hmm. So I'll just ask your forgiveness in advance for that. And then I'll quickly run in and uh, grab some food and make sure I have enough food for uh, a little while, just in case. I believe we've got a fridge in here, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll show you this trailer. Down very carefully. So it looks like a horse trailer, right? And I'm pulling it with this uh, Western Star 5700 XE. So it's a little bit of overkill, a little bit of uh, <laughs> a little bit of a full send, you know, little trailer. But this is our our smallest highway truck, so <laughs> good thing we got the wind breaker up there, right? Good thing. And this is the trailer. It's pretty neat. Bringing it down to, like I said, Foster, Minnesota. These are little steps that pop out here. See if I can get this uh, come down. Okay, it's frozen there for a second. Okay. See, no horses. Just like a big work area. All these toolboxes are tied in. Everything in here is tied down. I, I did check. I don't know what they would, uh, see he's got like this nice, these nice hooks and shelving. It's almost like this would be like a sales trailer at a truck show or something, right? It'd be very handy at the shows, that's for sure. Fans all around in here, must get pretty hot in some of the areas. The radio up there. And then through this door here, this is the living quarters. This is a slide, it slides out. There's a couch in there. There's a bed up there. You got like a, a kitchen in here. I don't know if there's a fridge or not. A little RV up here. Got an, a Webasto heater down there. And it even comes with a bathroom. Shower and everything. So, a thermostat here. Pretty neat, eh? Pretty neat. And then, yeah, you have this. Uh, Entrance that comes into this back area here and that entrance that goes into the living quarters of there I don't know what it's used for but uh, you know you could use this for whatever you want to use it for Someone in Minnesota wants to use it for something and it's coming all the way from Quebec So I'm taking it this part of the journey From Manitoba just down south usually in good weather. It would only take a couple of hours to get down there maybe like five six hours maybe seven seven hours, but with the weather today, I'm gonna take it easy. We might even just deliver it tomorrow morning we'll see but uh, i'm gonna go grab some food and we'll be on our way hope i'm not locked in here oh there we go good 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's got doors at the end eh so it's like an entryway let's say let me put these steps up here lock them in and like on the back here you'll see oh that keep you out of the wind it's like a big the whole thing comes down right and there's a light bar and stuff i don't know i guess it could be a party trailer it's whatever you want it to be so yeah it's something different today eh? never pulled one of these well i went and picked this up in winnipeg the other day now i'm bringing it down the rest of the way looks a little funny though eh <laughs> You'll know it's me. <laughs> Not every day you see a unit like that rolling down the highway. Trucker Josh coming through your town. 
but we're pretty much ready to go here. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you remember back in the day when I was in 3080 in uh, Western Star just like this, but this is the sleeper. I know the camera does it little justice, but it's, uh, it's a lot smaller. So remember in the Peterbilt, I could lay with my head touching the back and stretch out my feet and I couldn't touch the seats. Just about, but let's see if I do that now where my feet will be at. So let's just, oh, just touch my head on there. Okay. Now I'm gonna stretch out my feet. <laughs> I can, I can rest my feet on the seats. They go well past, can you see that? So it's quite a bit shorter in here than in the Peterbilt. Uh, they got a fridge right up here. And I've just turned on, I've got some water in here for me. In a Pepsi. Shh. Got some water in there. And uh, it is pretty, pretty small. When this bed comes down, there's no way you can sit underneath here. And Britt and I, and Diesel, and Wiener, and Mitzi, a dog we used to have. She passed away a few years ago. Uh, we were all in the cab here together, and we all went up to Yukon Territory for New Year's Eve and saw the fireworks there in uh, in Whitehor Whitehorse, right? That's the capital up there. Close to Alaska, if you're wondering where that is. Not a lot of fun, but this is I can't believe we traveled that far in this tiny little truck. <laughs> but it's time to go. I want to beat the weather. It's not getting any better out there, so... Let's see how far we can get. Almost forgot. I picked up some food from the Flying J because I forgot my lunch at home. And chicken Caesar salad, or chicken Caesar wrap and potato salad, just in case if I get stranded somewhere that I have food for a little bit. Uh, I don't want that to slide down. Can I put that down there? Would it stay there? There we go. And then you can put this there so that that doesn't open on the road. Okay. You have 12 hours and 23 minutes of remaining drive time. Ah, oh, Karen, you fell off the window again. Come on, Karen. It's not very nice. I don't want to stay up there really. Is that gonna, you gonna be all right there? Karen, how far do we got to go? 342 kilometers. Are you sure? Are you sure? Why are you not taking me down the 75? What? Why are you taking me all the way back up to Winnipeg? Look at this thing. We're down here, we gotta go that way. It wants me to go all the way back up to Winnipeg and back down the 59. Karen, you're crazy. I'm not going there. She can figure it out. I know where I'm going. You're lucky I brought you, okay? I'm gonna throw her out the window. Why are you dinging at me? There you go. All right, let's get out of here. I'm gonna go around through the pumps. Oh, I don't really wanna make this sharp corner here. I don't wanna turn too sharp with this trailer, but I think I could make it, you know? I think I can make it. Off we go. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. Room to spare. There we go. Off we go. This trailer also has a satellite dish that's built in on top of the trailer. You can get satellite TV, I guess. They thought of everything. Got air conditioner up on top there. Obviously, that pretty much comes standard in all RVs of all sorts nowadays, right? Continue on this road for 16 kilometers. I think air conditioning is almost a human right at this point, right? I know it's not, it should be, but uh, everything comes with air conditioning nowadays. Can you even get a car? Like, can you even get a brand new car, a base model without air conditioning? Let me know if you can do that, because I don't think it's even possible. Air conditioning is everywhere. And we need it here, despite what you may think. By looking at this, we do need air conditioning in the summertime. It gets very hot. We have the extreme in both directions. <coughs> okay, to Minnesota. Our good friends south of the border. I'm gonna see what they're up to. Whoa. Is there trucks coming? I think there's trucks coming, isn't there? I'm gonna wait, because it's a pretty gusty, blustery, icy day. I really don't want to surprise them by pulling out in front of them. We're going that way, towards Merca. Are you turning in here or are you going straight? You're going straight? Okay. I have a feeling this is pretty icy here and it's going to take me a little while to get up to speed. Oh, there's another one back there. 
One more, one more. What's one more? That guy was really following that driver close. Did you notice that? The second truck was right behind that other guy. Okay, I'm gonna get out on the highway here, put my hazards on. My please don't hit me, I'm moving slower than you lights. I had a comment in my comment section last week asking if that was uh, a regulation or if that was automatic that the, the hazard lights come on when I get onto a highway. No, I do that myself. Uh, I don't think it's a law here anyways. It might be a law in other places, but it is the right thing to do. When you're moving that much slower than traffic coming up behind you, it's a good idea to let them know, hey, pay attention. Don't hit me, please. Don't hit me. Man, yeah, this is really icy. We are not gonna be going very fast today. I mean, it's just another day in Manitoba. This isn't especially crazy or anything, but just slow her down. Take her easy. Thief River Falls, Minnesota. This is a nice little town, sort of hidden away. I come here quite a bit. One of the regular places that, I, that I'm that i in uh, when I do come down here. You wouldn't really expect Thief River to be this big when you look at it on the map, but it's actually a hustling, bustling town. Oh, we got a train up ahead here. Okay, I guess we're... Waiting right here then. Fun stuff. A lot of my European followers and followers from around the world, they like to say, Josh, you know you're American too. You're North American. Yeah, I know, I know that. But here in North America, we name things a little differently. Here, if you're talking about an American, you're talking about a citizen of the United States of America. If you're talking about a Canadian, you're talking about a citizen of Canada. If you just say American, we're gonna assume you mean United States. It's just the way it works. I've explained this before, but I keep getting these comments every now and then on all my different platforms, people reminding me, yes, I am North American, but that's that's not the way we would refer to ourselves here. We, It just confuses everybody. This way, this way you know when uh, you say American, it means a citizen of the US. We are, we are different, we're separate. Same continent though, we do share a continent. It's a very nice continent, the best I might say. I might be a little biased, but I like North America. For those of you who do watch every day, I probably sound a little repetitive sometimes, but that's just because I'm reiterating for new, new people. Look at that car, what kind of car is that? I've never seen that before. What is that? I'd really like to move, but traffic disagrees with me. They don't want to move. You gonna let me go? Is it my turn? My turn. Wonder where all these people are going. They're all turning left down in there. It's messing up traffic a little bit. That's why I couldn't get across the intersection before because everyone was trying to turn left. There must be something very important around the corner there. I'm not turning left. What does that say there? Northland Community Tech College. Uh, where you're all going? Are you all going to the college? Good for you. Good for you. Probably one down there somewhere. Very busy, popular road. This 
so many new places to see. And you know, every time I come here, even though I've been here so many times, it's still exciting every time. And it's just Thief River Falls. No offense, I don't mean just Thief River, but I mean, it's, it's not like it's a, a major tourist destination. But I still love it. I have fun every time I come out here. I always wonder when I'm passing through these towns, like, I wonder what life would be like here, you know? Like there's people here that live their life day to day, go to work, come home, raise their families, go to school, build their career, all here in this little town. And I'm just passing through, just, you know, seeing everything at a glance. Every town you go through, there, there's so much more to it than just meets the eye. But there's no possible way I could get to know every small town like that. That's why it's, it's always interesting meeting people from little towns like this, you know? Hearing what their life is like. How is it different from where I'm from? How is it the same? why we say you're like a paid tourist as a truck driver. I, I think it's the greatest job in the world. Same bedding, different truck. Much smaller. I did not realize how small this sleeper was until I got into that, uh, like I said before, into those that Peterbilt and the other trucks. But it's cozy, you know, it's big enough. It's got everything I need. It's got a nice big fridge here works well and it's at head height i like that so when i'm standing here i can see straight in i'm not gonna bend down most trucks have their fridges down here for some reason i like this design it's really nice i love this big window here like floor to ceiling window pretty much the whole wall there is a window and you can see out there it's uh it's chaos i had to shut down because the storm was just getting so bad all the trucks are all parked here. So many of them. So I got myself a spot and I'm gonna bunker down for the night. Got uh, turned into quite the blizzard. <laughs> 